my topic is common base amplifier common base amplifier amplifies the signal base is taken common to input and output okay now let's see circuit diagram this is the pnp transistor a small signal is applied at the emitter terminal then forward biasing a thing to base the battery is named as forward bias vwe in small signal vi emitter base collector so reverse biasing to collector the battery is named as vwc and it is rl the output signal is taken through the capacitor because ac can get out through it h parameter general equations are this is a general equation for any configuration you know for the detail you can watch my previous videos hr reverse voltage ratio it is quite small so you can drop this factor mean can be neglected similarly ho what is ho this is output admittance this again very 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 small so can be dropped or neglected so the two factor goes from the two equations Now H parameter equivalent circuit with the consideration of the above two assumptions or approximations. If we do the approximation, the circuit modifies into like this and for common base, you know. So H I P P mean for common base. The base is common emitter. This is the current source H F P I C. and here is the load resistance and here is the output the terminal 2 and 2 the base is common this one is collector base it is a thing mean base is common let we find hip upon hie HIP mean input impedance for common base. HIE mean input imp impedance for common emitter. So VEB cancels out. It left IB upon IE. So cross multiply. This is again an important expression to remember. Now this is a relation and can be proved if substituting the HFE here and simplifying, you got the same thing IB because IB plus IC is what IE. So IE, this is IE, and IE cancels out. What left? Only the IB. So we can say this is an important expression again. IB can be written as IE upon one plus HFE. Always remember this. So substituting IB here. Sorry here. So HIB into IE is equals to 
H I E into I E upon one plus H F E. I E cancels out. So H I P becomes H I E upon one plus H F E. This is again the very important expression for H I P. So we again draw the circuits because we proved now that HIB is what HIE upon 1 plus HFE. This is emitter, this is current source and here is the load resistance. This is GM minus GM into VP. You can prove it minus gm into vpe is also ic the port number two and two gm into vpe because gm is what mutual conductance or transfer conductance it is ic or vep V B cancels out, it left only, you know, I see. GM into V E B is also I C but there's a negative sign to remember. There's a reason of the negative sign. You will follow it after the completion. So V E B is uh, the potential between emitter and base, the resistance into IE, the resistance is HIE upon 1 plus HFE, you look in the diagram, okay, the resistance is HIE upon 1 plus HFE, resistance into IE, that becomes the voltage. So this is equation number 1, 2, sorry. This is equation number four. That above was three equation. This is fourth. The current grain alpha, you know, in common base configuration, we know well. It is defined as output current over input current. Output is collector current. Input is the emitter current with a negative sign because the direction are of opposite. Alpha already proved above, not proved above, we can prove it now. HFE is forward current ratio in common emitter. Substituting the values here and you got the IB plus IC is IE. So it is, it becomes IC upon IE. Okay, that means both are the same and you can equate the two also and uh, you know with a negative sign it is not written here but it should come alpha is equals to minus ic upon ie and where gm was equals to ic or vep we know well definition of the transconductance so equating these two values together So, I taken to this side, so one thing is missing, I think there should be a negative sign.
and minus comes here it is again missing in gm and vap already proved it is hie upon 1 plus hfe into ie substituting here vvab it is from the figure you know minus sign is missing please you put the negative sign in gm because when you substituted the ic value with the minus value so cancels out i e cancels out and gm becomes minus sign you know now it is corrected so it should be minus sign here minus here don't miss this negative sign okay so this is the value of the gm you have to remember all the expressions now we we notice minus i c into r l i minus sign because of the sign convention and here i c is minus g m into v e p So minus G M into V E P. Substituting it here, minus minus plus, and output voltage becomes this. To remember this, please. Output voltage over input voltage that becomes the gain of common base. The voltage of common base is same that was in common emitter. so because the voltage gain it is in plus there is no phase shift output remains in phase with the input now the current gain is defined as ic upon ie ic is already proved minus gm into vep upon ie So substituting VEP already proved here in the figure, you know, maybe this one from the figure resistance into current. So substituting the current gain becomes so the current gain is negative sign so that means there is a phase shift of 180 degree and the current gain if you substituting the value the value current gain becomes nearly equals to 1 or less than 1 current gain is always less than 1 now let's find the input resistance at the port 1 1 between 1 1 that is called rib input resistance and figure it is showing the input resistance hie upon 1 plus hfe RIP is one over GM. Output resistance 
is defined as the resistance between the port 2 and 2 it is 1 over HOP now you try yourself as a task to find to find out 1 over HOP is equals to this Now power gain is current gain into the voltage gain. So what the current gain? Approximately because one is neglected as compared to HFE. And this voltage gain is GM into RM and current gain is nearly equals to 1 AIP you look the expression the expression is GM HIE upon 1 plus HFE 1 is neglected and HIE upon HFE is 1 over GM and GM GM minus gm into hie upon hfe this is 1 over gm you know it cancels out it is equals to my so current gain is 1 in magnitude power gain comes the same as the voltage gain equals to gm into rl now feature of the common base number one current gain is less than one This is actually not a gain, actually it is a current loss because gain is always greater than 1. Now voltage gain is same, there's this of the common emitter. Common base gain is same common emitter. But here there is no phase shift, this is advantage. Output signal remain in phase with the input. Now the common base arrangement used for impedance transfer impedance transferring property low impedance source can be power matched to the high resistance load okay this is the property of the common base. And a small exercise for you. Let for a particular transistor GM is minus 0 0.4 mau, RL is 2000 ohm, HIE is 1000 ohm, HFE is 24. For a particular transistor then the exercise is you just calculate all the parameters like voltage gain current gain power gain power gain in decibels resistance input and output